We are surrounded by over 3,000 pounds of lions, and the Predator Shield weighs only 700. Ralph. A little bit unnerving. It's a lot unnerving, actually. The My hands, hands shaking. I don't know if you can see. Any second, this group of aggressive males could attack us from all angles. Wow, that's unnerving. That's really close to my face. While the bigger ones check us out, a few of the lions are able to sneak in, pretending to be asleep near the carcass. This submissive posture allows the lions a chance to feed. Smaller lions who have not established themselves among the pride will be lucky to eat it all. You know, the, the three that have actually the four now that are in there eating, they're going to get the good stuff. And then these guys are a little more timid. This one that keeps pretending he's sleeping and trying to sneak in a little bit. You know, they're going to get the leftovers. It's pretty impressive watching these guys feed. You can hear the bones crunching and ripping and the flesh ripping. And I can attest that the smell is not very good. Even though these lines may look the same to us, in their eyes, they are vastly different in terms of dominance and superiority. So Chris, see this guy on the right who was a little more submissive. He looks at me every time we talk about him. Mm -hmm. But if you notice, he's just trying to ease up just a little bit to get a piece of that good stuff, and they're not letting him. He's just he's stuck with the very head of the animal. You know what? If that's what he's left with, there's not going to be a lot of good meat. I mean, they'll right. crunch it up. They'll probably get into the brain somehow, eat the tongue and, and some of the face. But he's definitely not getting the good stuff. Lions are extremely aware of subtle changes in posture of each other. During a feed, they will use facial expressions, snarling, and growls, as well as swiping each other to establish hierarchy. The lions continue to devour the carcass well into the evening, 